Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play your Neo Geo Pocket and Neo Geo Pocket Color games on your PSP. If you're new here, do consider subscribing to the channel as well. Which channel grow? Thank you. Revolutionary Neo Geo Pocket Color with 16-bit power, linked to the Sega Dreamcast, revolving joystick. 146 color display. Six cool styles. The graphics will blow you away. Neo Geo Pocket, way ahead of the game. In 1988, SNK released the monochrome version of the Neo Geo Pocket handheld. This was SNK attempt into entering the handheld market which was dominated by Nintendo Game Boy. The monochrome edition was exclusive to Japan, Asia, Europe and was never released in America. Similar to the Game Boy Pocket, it runs on two AAA battery and lasts about 40 hours. There were only 10 games released for the Neo Geo Pocket. Due to poor sales as it was competing against the Wonder Swan and the newly released Game Boy Color, the Neo Geo Pocket was discontinued after only one year in the market. In that same year in 1999, SNK released the Neo Geo Pocket Color which is a 16-bit handheld console. It retains the 8-direction micro switch D-pad and uses two AA batteries similar to the Game Boy Color and provide about 40 hours playing time. It is backward compatible to play Neo Geo Pocket games and there were only 82 games released for the Neo Geo Pocket Color such as Metal Slug, Sonic Pocket and Samurai Showdown. It was competing against the Pokemon Chris at that time and the Game Boy Advance which was released in 2000. Sadly, it was discontinued after 2 years due to poor sales. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play your Neo Geo Pocket and Neo Geo Pocket Color games on your PSP. This method will work with all PSP models but you need to be on custom firmware. If you are not on custom firmware, check out how to mod your PSP video on the link on the top right and on the description below. Now that we got that out of the way, use the second link in the description to download the race simulator for the PSP. Here I've downloaded it onto my desktop. Extract the file using WinDRA or 7-zip. Here I'm using WinDRA. Select the file and drag it onto the desktop. Now go ahead and delete the zip file since we will not be using it anymore. Open up the race folder. Here there's a couple of folder but the most important folder will be the ROMs folder. I've included a homebrew game for you to play around with. This will be the folder where you will place your ROMs. Getting your ROMs. ROMs are digital copy of your games. Neo Geo Pocket games will have a .ngp extension while your Neo Geo Pocket Color will have a .ngbc file extension. I can't tell you where to get the ROMs from but if you do a simple google search you can easily find them. Alternatively, you can use a cartridge dumper to get the ROMs from the cartridge. Here I have 4 ROMs which I have extracted using the dumper. Drag and drop the ROMs into the ROMs folder. Next, insert your PSP memory card into the computer. My PSP memory card is iDrive, yours could be different. Open up the PSP folder, open up the game folder. Copy and paste the race folder into the game folder of your memory card. Once it's done, safely eject your memory stick. Insert your memory stick into your PSP and let's turn it on. As always, we will run the fast recovery to ensure that we are on custom firmware. If you are not on custom firmware, check out how to mod your PSP video on the link on the top right and on the description below. Once it's done, run the race PSP emulator. Now let's search for our ROM. Press triangle to search for the race folder. To enter the folder, press circle. Now that we have found our ROMs folder, select the game and press circle to load the game. Let's load the King of Fighter R1 which is a fighting game developed and released by SNK in 1988 for the new Geo Pocket Monochrome. This game shares the same storyline as the King of Fighter 197 which takes place after the event of King of Fighter 96. Even though there were only 10 games released for the new Geo Pocket Monochrome edition, in my opinion this is the best game to get. Let's compare the screen with the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Nothing beats playing it on its original hardware. The clicky joystick is such a joy but without a backlight screen, it can get very frustrating. I will be doing an IPS screen mod for this Neo Geo Pocket Color in the future. Let's compare the screen with my modded Neo Geo Pocket Monochrome. I've installed a backlit on this Neo Geo Pocket a few years ago. It makes it more visible and more enjoyable to play on. The process of backlighting it is the same as installing a backlit for the Game Boy DMG and the Game Boy Pocket. To load new game, press L to open up the menu. Now scroll down and select the game. Press circle to load the game. Let's load the Neo Geo Pocket Cup 98. This game is made for the Neo Geo Pocket but it's also available in Neo Geo Pocket Color. Let's change the screen size. Press L to activate the menu. Press R to toggle to the option tab. Scroll up to the screen size. Press the right button on the keypad to change the screen size. In my opinion, 4x3 aspect ratio is the best for Neo Geo Pocket. If you notice, the border is now gone and this makes it look as if it's playing on the original hardware. 
another game that you must check out for the new Geo Pocket Color is Metal Slug Mission 2 which is a run gun game similar to Contra and was released in 1999. One thing that could have made this simulator so much better would be the use of the PSP analog joystick instead of the D-pad to replicate the actual feeling of playing on the new Geo Pocket. If you like fighting game, check out the Samurai Showdown 2. This game follows the same story as Samurai Showdown 64 Warriors Reach. Although this game was released in 1989 for the Neo Geo Pocket, but I didn't have a chance to play until it was re-released for the Nintendo Switch 20 years later in 2019. In my opinion, the best part about playing the Neo Geo Pocket games on the PSP is that now you can play in the dark. There you go guys, that's how you play your Neo Geo Pocket games on the PSP. The PSP is more than 16 years old but I still play it on a regular basis as it is still one of the most powerful and help to run homebrew games and application. Do check out my other PSP tutorial from the PSP playlist. If you have found this video useful, do consider subscribing to the channel as it will help the channel grow. We have just crossed 300 subscribers and I'm very grateful for all your support. With that, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.